really thumpy for rap. Yeah. And when you play all the way up, it's like pretty much the same volume. <laughs> yeah. You don't lose any sound or tone. Wow. It's like really full in the mid range, but not um, not muddy. I guess that redwood really like cleans that. Wow. There's a really nice sparkle to it. Almost like spruce. It's like subtle spruce. Well, I mean. Redwood is kind of like a mix between, like in between spruce and cedar. Yeah, but that yeah. age does add clarity. Yeah. Yeah. I was so impressed with the inlays on this. It's so clean. I just love uh, the headstock is so well done. Mm -hmm. Like the choice of materials. Yeah. And like even that, that, that silhouette, it looks so cool. It yeah. almost looks like you used marble on there. I was like, what? <laughs> It's like you have these wave type of uh, effects yeah. going and everything. It's it's like that that look of like sunset when it gets pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he nailed it. <laughs> so cool for this ukulele to be a donation from an individual builder that only you know can make so much is a is a really big deal. So huge props to Peter for his generosity. And um, oh, for the bitters, you're going to get one hell of a youth. Oh. I mean, the tree mahogany, 100-year-old redwood, and some of the 
most gorgeous tone you'll ever find on an ukulele. Oh yeah. Not to mention the art. It's almost as dense as redwood. I mean, uh, rosewood, right? Something yeah, like yeah. It has a lot of those qualities, right? Still kind of the openness of mahogany. Mm -hmm. It's not quite Warm. as dark as red, uh, rosewood. auction and um to the winner you're gonna get invoice from craig and sarah's nonprofit, and um go directly all proceeds going to help the people of maui so mahalo to all who are willing to help and get one hell of a uke on the way <laughs> man <laughs> 